mentors on Tuesdays and Thursdays and something that I like on Saturdays. If you're new here, don't forget to click that button down below. It is the month of December and I am uploading 25 videos. I did not upload one yesterday and the reason is because pretty much everybody that's gonna watch this video isn't watching those videos, but um, the reason is just because like yesterday I was traveling and I was editing the video. I had a video, but the quality of the video just wasn't something that I want to post on my channel. And and I would rather post an extra video at the end of the 25 days or just like an extra video in one day. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. Today's video is going to be the top five apartments in Denver that are under $2,000. And these honestly are in no particular order because I couldn't really figure out, you know, which one was best or worst. They're all in really great locations and we're gonna go ahead and start with the first place, which is Walcott Jefferson Park. This apartment was approximately $1,700 after fees, probably around like $1,900 or maybe a little bit less. And then again, this is in a really good location. It's about five to 10 minutes from the downtown area. And like you can see here, they have a list of all the different places they call like points of interest in the area, like restaurants and shopping options. And it's about one and a half miles from CU Denver and then about 25 miles from the airport. And then in the apartment itself, I love the way this place looks. It has a very, very clean look. The white cabinetry looks so good. In this video, I actually go over the island not really being a nice area for people to sit at. However, you don't have to use it as a bar area or like an entertaining area. If you want, you could just get a dining table. The bar does extend out and you can't push a chair under so it's not going to be comfortable sitting there that is like the one main thing that I like don't like about this apartment but it's okay not a big deal I mean this place is pretty straightforward you have stainless steel appliances the flooring is gray again it looks so clean let's just go ahead and take a quick look at these apartments <laughs> that apartment complex or that apartment in general. I honestly don't think it's a bad area or um, like a bad apartment. I think it's actually really nice and I like all of the finishes within this apartment. Like I said, the only thing that I don't like is that island, but let's go check out the next apartment. This one is the Alcott Apartments. Let's talk about it really quick. This one ranges from 1600 to 1800 a month, depending on the square footage that you would like to get with their one bedroom, one bath. This neighborhood is a very, very safe neighborhood. It's also in the Jefferson Park area. So both of these places are in really good locations. They have a lot of churches and parks and schools in this area. It's also really close to the highway. So you have easy access to get onto the freeway to go to the airport or the springs, wherever you're going that day. And then you're also really close to downtown. Like I said, it's like a five to 10 minute drive, depending on traffic, maybe 15. Within the actual apartment, here you do have the white countertops with the white backsplash. I do like the way that the backsplash is done in this apartment just because it has the darker colored grout so it 
looks, I don't know, more spaced out versus just white on white on white countertops. I just feel like that would be like way too much white. Along with that, you know, you have your gray cabinet. So everything in my opinion, I know for all the apartments, I say that everything looks clean, but it really does. I think it makes a big difference. So like I was saying, the square footage is about 500 to 650-ish. And it honestly feels like you have a decent amount of room. It doesn't feel like it's that small within the apartment. So I also really like that. And then I also like the flooring in this apartment as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Alcott Apartments. like kind of similar with the way they sound. Let's go over the My Block at Wash Park Apartments. I really like this apartment just because of the fact that it is a smaller community. They have lofts and the apartments themselves are honestly pretty cute. This place is actually about $2,000 right on the dot after your fees and stuff. It's probably gonna be like $2,100 to $2,200. So that is something to consider, but I did wanna include it because it does hit that 2,000 mark and it is a really nice apartment. It's just such a cute community. I would totally live there. Also, they have lofts, which I really love. They were so cool because it's like literally the one bedroom apartment that we toured and then not only do you have that, you have a little bit bigger of a living area and then you have some stairs that go along the wall and then it takes you upstairs to a literal loft. So technically you could use it as a two bedroom and the loft goes out onto like terrace as well. It's not a private terrace, but it is something that the community members do utilize. They consider this apartment to be a studio or an urban. I would say that it is actually a one bedroom because you still have that sliding door. That's just my opinion though. If you disagree, definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know. Not only that, you do still have so much room within this apartment and you have a lot of space at your island with the bar area. Let's just go take a look at this place as well and see what you guys think. <laughs> Okay guys, so now that you guys have seen three different apartments, let's talk about the fourth apartments, which honestly are probably my favorite ones that I'm talking about today because this place was really cool. It is ex Denver. They have like co-living options for people. So if you are interested in moving to the city, but it's too expensive for you or you want roommates or whatever it may be, this would be a really good option. This place honestly was like a legit community. They have a bunch of different events that they host. They have like movie nights and they have a projector. Like it didn't really feel like an apartment. It was really cool. And then the fact that they have the co-living options 
it's really nice. The one bedroom that we toured was about $1,600. And um, I mean, I think it was a really great size. You have a walk-through closet, washer and dryer in unit. These apartments are really pretty. Again, everything is just so clean. I don't know how else to like explain it. This place was really cool too because you do have the option of getting your apartment furnished or unfurnished, which Honestly, I'm not even gonna lie, unless it's student living, you don't really see something like that often. So that is really nice if you're trying to save money. Let's go take a look at X Denver and really quickly before we get into it, I don't have the video saved where I was like taking the actual clips. So I have to cut the clips out of my previous YouTube videos. So sorry that they're not gonna be amazing, but let's go take a look. of X Denver. It's a pretty cute place, right? I mean, I really like it. I think it's in a really great location. It's practically, it is downtown. Um, so you're not far from the city life. You're in the city life. It's really nice. Okay, so the very last place that I'm gonna talk about is actually a place that I toured more recently. It is the Douglas Apartments in downtown Denver. The main reason that I put this place on this one, yes, is the price, but also because it's literally downtown and it is really hard to find something at that price downtown. Is it my absolute favorite apartment? Probably not, but it is in a really great location and it is at a pretty good price. With this apartment, you are literally so close to the stadium, the baseball stadium so if you like baseball you don't have to pay for an uber you can literally walk to the stadium because it's a couple of blocks away within this apartment you do see a brown backsplash which is completely different than what we're used to seeing all of the cabinets and the front door match the backsplash everything is brown so I think that does really pull the entire place together and make it look super nice. This place was about $1,600 a month. That's why I decided to put this place on this list because let's just go take a look at this place really quick and see what it's about.
what did you guys think of the Douglas apartments? Did you guys like them? Did you hate them? Leave your comments down below. Do you guys think I should have included other apartments on this list or did I do good? Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and click that button down below, subscribe, become a member of my squad. And honestly, you guys, I'm not gonna take too much of your time for the rest of my night and yours so I can get this video up and I need to make myself dinner. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.